Hi, welcome. My name is Alex Vizina, and today I'm introducing a new video series to get smart about editing with ArcGIS Web App Builder. This series is mainly focused on using and configuring the Smart Editor widget for different editing tasks. The Smart Editor widget is a configurable tool available in Web App Builder for editing features and their related records in the web. A wide range of configurations and capabilities are available and will be demonstrated in this series. Web App Builder is an intuitive application that allows you to build 2D and 3D web apps without having to write a single line of code. You can configure flexible and creative applications for your project workflows and to provide information to your organization and the public. In case you may not be familiar with Web App Builder, here is a quick example of a configuration with the Smart Editor widget. In this application, I can create new features on the map. For example, I can represent the location of the mobile stage that will be assembled for an upcoming musical event. As I create new features on the map, information is also being automatically recorded against the different fields. So I can see here the event number, the event name, the location description, the date and time this is being set up, which is set to the current time, and also the time it will be taken down 12 hours from now, along with the status for this asset and its location coordinates. In this way, I can also represent the location of other assets, such as the gates, the ticket office, an information kiosk, and the restrooms. All of this was done in only a few clicks, while the Smart Editor widget was able to provide all the necessary related information automatically. At any time, I can move these points and the information will be updated accordingly. Here, the date and time were moved forward and the coordinates were updated for the new location. Curating large data sets can be time-consuming and labor-intensive. This is why I will demonstrate ways to streamline repetitive editing tasks. These videos are meant to help you improve your efficiency and that of your organization for editing data on the web. I will also provide some tips and tricks for configuring your applications to improve your editing workflows. In this series, you will learn how to tailor your application and tools for collecting information dynamically and to quickly generate and edit related records. While editing can be streamlined to lead the editor through his or her tasks, a lot of information can also be collected in only a few clicks. I will provide examples on how you can quickly bring information from external sources into your own data and how to enrich your own data from information found in the map. But while we want to collect data and information quickly, it is necessary to prevent data entry errors and discrepancies. You will learn how to configure your application to control who can edit, what can be edited, and how. Determining pre-populated and hidden values and defining mandatory information for your records are examples for keeping your data clean and complete. Throughout the series, I will try to use real-world examples from a variety of industries to showcase some of the capabilities found in Smart Editor that could improve your own editing processes. Are you ready to get started? Check out the first video now and learn how you can combine and copy information by bringing together data from separate sources into a single target layer. Stay tuned as more videos are made available periodically. Happy editing!